the 26th of May. I am Nukzar Rukhadze of WXIA TV Atlanta in the United States of America. Would you like to use the English language for our interview? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, you have been elected president of the Republic of Georgia by the people of our Georgia. What kind of feeling is that? It is very good feeling, but also very great responsibility. Because you know that Georgia is in a very bad condition now, bad economical condition and uh, also political. Our future is not clear and we need diplomatic recognition from the rest of the world and the world's leading states. I understand. Thank you very much. Uh, you have always been a fighter for Georgian independence and a dreamer for national freedom. Has your dream come true? Um, not fully, because, you know, uh, we, although we announced uh, independence of Georgia uh, juridically, but uh, uh, in fact we are not fully independent. We are still in Soviet empire and we need um, full independence and the building of our independent state, uh, what means to have our currency, our national army, borders and diplomatic recognition, first of all, and uh, membership of the UN. After this, I can tell you that my dream uh, is, has come true. I understand. Uh, how can you describe the independence of Georgia, officially declared by the parliament on the 9th of April? Americans keep asking me a question. What kind of independence and freedom do Georgians enjoy? Uh, now we enjoy mm, a little freedom because we want full secession from Soviet Union and creating our own independent state. And the uh, only decla declaration does not help us if we will not achieve uh, everything what I have told you. Well, is there any danger of Soviet military aggression against Georgia, especially after a declaration of independence and your election as president? Yes, of course. Today I received a letter from the chief of the military staff of Soviet Union, General Moisev, who warns me that if we do not fulfill um, uh, Soviet government's instruction about draft, all measures can be taken against us, especially mil military measures. It is, I think, serious danger for Georgia. Well, uh, would you like to comment on ethnic political differences within the population of Georgia? You know that 80 nationalities live in Georgia. But uh, all rights of national minorities are preserved. All cultural rights, uh, language, schools, uh, theaters, and uh, national minorities live in harmony uh, between each other. There are no ethnic conflicts unless they are inspired by Moscow sometimes. And, uh, They're very promising. Yes. Okay, what kind of relations do you expect to be developed between Georgia and Russia in future? Mm. We want to... Uh, when, when, when I met uh, President, uh, Mr. Yeltsin, uh, we signed protocol for future new agreement between Russia and Georgia. And it will be, I think, um, very... It, it will have very great importance for our both states. Very good. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. And what can you tell us about potential business relationships between our Georgia and American Georgia? We want to encourage such business relationships, not only with American Georgia, but the whole um, United States. Very good. Um, and finally, oh, when do you think the Republic of Georgia will become a full member of the United Nations. 
Yes, we strive for that, and we, our aim is to become members of the UN, and the world the countries and states must help us in that. Uh huh. And do you have a message from Georgia? Georgia is here. Yes, of course. To help Georgian people in its struggle for freedom and democracy and full independence of um, the state. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Batonovic, thank you very much thank for you. your time. We wish you all the best. Thank you. The people of Georgia. In the South Carolina, Batonovic, the country is now his. Eshmarati Bednere, his Herit Shemshneri, Teori Arikneva, Sakatelushi. Arandi, Nadlut. 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 N